Hello everyone! Welcome to our tin foil painting program. My name is Miss Lauren and today we are going to paint uh, our own rendition of Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night using tin foil and Q-tips as well as of course some paint. So I laid out the paint colors we are going to need which is um, which is blue, yellow, white, and black. And just so you guys are aware, I did put a, uh, I did put, oh my goodness. I put a tablecloth down because one of my paints is not washable. So I'm gonna keep Starry Night here in the background so we can always see it as we are going along and painting. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna try to draw these swirlies. So I'm gonna use some blue. Or should I start with the castle? I think we're gonna start with the castle. So we're gonna start all the way from the bottom. And we are gonna go like this. Can you see what I'm doing? You can, perfect. And it kinda goes in like that. And it goes out, and it goes in again. And there's a little that. That's like a little point. along the bottom here and then we'll add that one and that one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint in and we're gonna do some strokes like that so what's cool in Van Gogh's painting is that you can still see some white space and there's nothing wrong with some white space showing in this particular painting And the cool thing about Q-tips is that unlike paintbrushes, every stroke is kind of uneven, right? And it makes things kind of look not more realistic per se, but definitely more textured, more like it's something out of a fantasy than actually a still life or anything like that, like other modern painters not modern, less modern painters may have made. Where's my other one? I got this guy. Okay. I'm gonna keep going like that. Just like this. And then what I think we're actually gonna do next is these sunshines. Not sunshines, they're stars, they're starbursts, of course. Okay. So there is our black castle, kind of looking like that guy, or trying its best to look like that. Next up, we're gonna take our yellow. We're gonna go like this, and we are gonna go, and we are gonna make our little starbursts, the just the, the circle parts. Big one kind of off to the side. Kind of like that. That one there. And that's what we're gonna go with with our sunshines. So the sunshines kind of have also this little like this going on. It's kind of hard to make them so small like the other, like an actual paintbrush, but it's something like this. And we just go like that and make it kind of a starburst. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more around that in yellow. And then we're gonna fill the rest in with white.
And then that one's small, so we're gonna leave it be. Okay, so we've got our starbursts. And we're gonna kind of let them stay a little bit wet as we add on our little white spots. We kind of just wanna fill in. You wanna fill in, and if it mixes, that's okay. You just wanna fill in where everything else, where the white may have left, or the yellow may have left some room. So we're gonna go like this. And we're just gonna mix these two colors together. And although they're mixed, they still kind of retain that um, little starburst feature like they had in the actual picture. So we're gonna keep doing that. Big one off to the side. And always want to make sure that circle is still visible at least a little bit to still kind of get the sense that we are focusing on one starlight. This one here. This one looks like it was too white. I think we uh, waited too long to paint on that one. This guy looks so so white. And it's okay if we get some on the castle because in the actual painting, if you'll see, there is a little bit that's kind of on the castle. So next, we are going to start to do our sky. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is kind of white and it kind of goes around like that, like a spiral. So we're going to start with the white and I'm actually going to make sure that it is more white now than it was before. We're going to use a different Q-tip. And we are going to go just with, with questionable strokes like that. Nothing needs to be set in stone about them, just so that it looks like maybe some wind coming from around, and so that it swirls, and it kind of comes back around over here, and it makes a little bit of a swirl here. We're gonna do that. And kind of just like how we did with our sunspots, we are gonna use a toothpick and we are gonna fill all of this in, all of the space here. And it's gonna make it look a little bit like wind in a sky. Something like this. And our white is drying a little bit quickly, but that's okay. So all of our strokes are gonna be kind of like this, kind of like wispy to the best of our abilities. And we're gonna go like this all the way around. And this is just before we even get to the actual sky. This is just a little bit of a prelude. little bit of black in there too to kind of mix in with it to make it a little bit darker. That might have been too much so we're gonna maybe I actually didn't like 
like how that looked, so we're not going to do that with the rest. We can just like go that way too. Okay, so we've got our church. We've got our swirlies. We're not going to worry about the talent at the bottom because that seems like it's going to be too much. What I think we're going to do is we're going to mix our yellow and our white together more, and we are going to make that kind of skyline, if you guys can see it. Oh, and I'm over here mixing, 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 mixing. Mix and mix and mix and mix. It's hard when your white paint is all lumpy. Okay, so we're gonna try that and we're gonna kind of, this is gonna be the bottom of our picture. As these kind of hills and mountains. Got you guys so that you can see here. I'm gonna just color these in. Color them in like so. I'm getting my fingers all dirty. I didn't think to get a different Q-tip like some sort of fool. Okay, keep going. Okay, to the corner there. Okay, and we're gonna go over and do the same for over here, this little corner. Okay, so next we're gonna do the super fun bit. We are gonna take our blue and we are just gonna make the sky. And so the fun thing about the sky in this picture is it kind of goes along with the rest of the outline. So you can see it's like outline by outline like so. It's like layered, layered very carefully. And it's okay if things are different colors but I'm gonna turn on a time-lapse so you can get that instead of just having to watch me paint like this. Here is my finished copy of Van Gogh's Starry Night on tin foil. I hope you guys have fun with this. I hope you like this program. If you want to see things like this or other programs like this, just let us know in the comments. Let us know how your wonderful picture turned out, and we will see you guys next time. Have a great day.